Hello, this week we are doing freehand measuring. Um, it's a good skill to have for interiors, exteriors, landscapes, townscapes. Um, and it's just a way of measuring um, in a kind of like in a low tech way. It's not going to be kind of like scientifically precise, but it just allows you to put more precision in your drawings. Um, so for this, I have my view, my scene. I have cartridge paper and I have um, pencils, one to sketch out and one to um, define a lot more. And actually, I am going to use a pencil to help me draw my lines. I just like to have as few tools as possible when I'm drawing. I like it mainly to be my pencil sharpener, pencil, paper and my subject. Um, but for this, it's kind of like, you know, when you're doing quite complex things and you've got um, straight lines, it's quite useful to have uh, additional tools available. So it's kind of like a much, much slower way of working than we have been doing before. But if you want to do precise drawing, it's really, uh, it's really useful to, to know how it works, basically. So um, good to have a long pencil and one that is flat at the top. So many pencils will have a rounded edge, but that makes, you know, doing measurements um, a lot trickier because honestly, millimeters matter when you're sort of like translating a measurement from um, over there onto paper. Uh, and the other thing you need is a straight arm. So you need to be comfortable where you're sitting. You don't need to be moving around. Um, your arm stays, um, the same length because if you stretch your arm out it's not going to be altering each time but if you have it slightly bent then it will be altering so if you're sitting comfortably your arm is stretched out when you're measuring and then you can always just come back you know that that's going to be true also it's we, when we are measuring we measure on the vertical and the horizontal so I've started this uh, drawing uh, already um, and I have, uh, because it is much, much slower um, and I'm just going to show you the next stage, what I've done so far and then the next stage. So I measured uh, the, the width of the top shelf and then I measured with, with one eye close and I measured then the uh, width. So I measured the length and I'm, then I measured the width. And then I used my pencil at an angle to just check the angle and then I bring it back, okay? And then bring it back and put that in. It's quite useful to have a second pencil. So when I wanted to plot where the pot that's on top of that shelf sits, so I used, measured from the end of the shelf, I closed, arm stretched out, steady, and then I bring it back. And I use another pencil just to mark. What you could do is a mark like that. You have to be a little bit dexterous like that. So it's useful to have another kind of like pencil handy. So if I know where that planter starts um, on this shelf, I can just line my pencil up straight again, and then just line it up here and mark which I've done there. Double check, I can measure where it is from the other end. So you can see it's much, much slower. Okay, yep, that'll do. So I'm going to measure the height of that uh, pot. So I'm going to steady my hand. I'm going to go into the center of it. And then line up and just mark. So it's about here, the top of that pot. What I'm going to do is not measure the length of the height of it here, but I'm just going to check the angle. So I can see that it comes up slightly, so I'm going to be really pernickety and just measure that little straight bit. So you can see having a straight, um, straight pencil at the end matters. So I'm just going to end that. What you can do is use another pencil because I don't like having rulers around uh, as I, but for a particular thing and just use that just to come like draw along there. That's quite useful. Okay, so I'm going to check the angle coming out 
from there. And I'm going to bring that in. Oh, the one. So it's just going just to there. I'm not going to draw that all in, but I'll just mark it and then I can just pop it in. So I think my pot probably doesn't come out that far, so I will be measuring the length of it at the top. So I'm just going to check the angle on the other side and bring it and just mark and then just take that up. You can see it's quite slow, isn't it? And then I'm just going to measure the width across from one side to the other. And now I, I know the height is there. So I can either just draw that, it's got a slight, I'm just going to, let's go, has it, does it go slightly up? Just fractionally up. So I want to have a little, I don't want it to be, you know, I want there to be a softness to the drawing. There, so I've got my, I've got my plant pot, it's got a little ridge. I can start to breathe life into it soon and make it look less like a technical drawing and more like a expressive nice drawing soon. So, you know, if I can be, I could be really precise and just go, well, it's got a little seam there, where does that start? It's there. Check the angle. Comes up to about there. This is probably the most precise I'll ever be in drawings. This is great also for live drawing if you want to check the sort of like, you know, the angles from, I guess, you know, or the length of like legs and things like that, or arms or cross shoulders as well. Okay, um, and my plant is all going on up here. So I started with this shelf and then I plotted the angle of these uprights because I could tell that they would be very useful in plotting uh, my shelves amongst that. And this is kind of like, it looks like a very straightforward object, but it's actually quite complex because the, the shelves or the, the, the legs mean that it's not qu quite sort of like central. I can't just put a line there and then they, they're going to sit neatly in the middle. It's slightly off. So um, I checked the angle and I brought that back. And then I measured the distance from one of these, from the centre of one of the legs, to the centre of the other. And I did the same from one to the centre of the other and then I double checked from the end coming back in. And then precisely I measured the width of it going either side of that central point. So I'm just going to, and I've done that for all of them, I'm just going to oh, keep my thumb out the way, let me draw that in. So you probably need a kind of like, you know, this is a drawing that you might want to take days over, you know, or well, certainly an afternoon. It needs to be kind of like pretty steady and I can't quite watch my thumbs, so I get in the way. Oh, I'm kind of like, just steady my pencil there. At this point it would be handy to have a ruler. I don't know if I own a ruler. It's gone a little bit wide. I'm just going to go freehand, very freehand again. So I'm going to just put the next shelf in and then finish this off the video and show you the picture afterwards. I'm just going to do a steady line going down because I find that much more comfortable than trying to draw it along the straight edge. So you just get the rhythm going and just go down. And you can correct yourself if you go off, so it went slightly wide there. Like all drawings, this is the working out stage. So I have one shelf here, and I've measured the from here to the base of that shelf. And now I'm going to use the actual, I'm going to measure along this leg. So I'm not going to measure on the angle, I'm going to measure 
on the vertical. So all measurements are on the vertical and the horizontal checkings are on the diagonal. Okay, so there's a sort of a bolt here. So I'm going to measure from that bolt, which is at the base of the um, shelf, my arms stretched. And one eye closed. I've got my end of my pencil at the top, one the other. So it is, that's the base of the next shelf. And then I'm going to use this gauge to line up towards the top of the shelf. I'm going to go straight up and see where it is in relation to that leg. Okay, so that's part of this um, ellipse. I'm going to measure from the base here to uh, the base of the shelf and to the top of the shelf. So going from here, this point, so it's using anchor points along the way. It's not just one anchor point, it's multiple anchor points. So I'm just get my thumb in there. And so what you can do when you're measuring, just put that there. Let's get another pencil. Oops, I'll throw them around. And mark in with another pencil if you if you're finding it difficult to be to twist your pencil. Okay, so I'm going to measure down from here. Straight down. Just a little bit, put a little knot in there, uh, uh, dot in there. And then from here, this point where it's touching the, uh, the leg, I'm actually going to go measure horizontally across the top of that shelf. So, so I know this is my ellipse at the top. So I want to just, like I do with all drawings then, I want to have a little bit of flexibility to my pencil sharp. I'm actually going to properly look as well what the actual, the whole of that all of that ellipses. Trouble is when you start putting like markers in, you sort of like desperately want to stay within them. So just be a little bit sort of like flexible. This has got to look right and you could be slightly out in places. Don't be frightened of making marks and going slightly in the wrong place. So I know I want to check what the width, the depth of that uh, shelf is. So it's there. So on to the other one. I'm just going to, because I was doing, doing measuring along the legs. of my shelf. So I'm getting to see as I travel down these shelves I'm seeing more of the top of them so the ellipse is getting wider. Okay I'm going to continue with this um, off camera and uh, you'll be able to see how it's like how it's progressing. I'm just going to put one or two of the ornaments that are there. Um, great so the key things to remember is all measuring is on the, the horizontal and the vertical. Well, the checking is on the diagonal. You never measure on the diagonal. It's always measured on the vertical. Okay, thank you.